so I was really in two minds about making this video. Um, on the one hand, I want to give you and all the people that have worked really hard on the channel uh, some constructive solutions around this topic of exam leaks. But at the same time, I don't want to spread rumours or make rumours get out of hand with the accusations about the A-Level Maths Paper 1 and now also the IGCSE Biology Paper 4 as well. And I don't want to make that situation any worse. But I feel like I can contribute at least some useful advice to you to help you get your head around the exam leaks, first of all, and then how do we then go moving forward um, exactly how do we go about our study and revision. Now of course the main problem with exam leaks is it just makes the whole system unfair. If there's a group of people out there that get an unfair advantage over everybody else then that can have an impact not just in terms of results or grade thresholds because I think it's going to be a, a small number there but or more the sort of mental side of it of knowing there's somebody out there that's got an unfair advantage and being able to reset yourself and go okay that's happened I mean the problem about exam leaks is just it feels unfair and if there's a group of people again this is not substantiated but if that is the case it feels like it's an unfair advantage. It should all be based on merit, all based on the hard work and the learning and the concepts that you have done. And it causes damage to everybody. It causes damage to the reputation of the qualification, also uh, damage to your fellow students as well, if uh, there has been some kind of exam leak. And it's simply unfair. Now, what can you do on a micro level? So what can you do individually. Uh, the first thing, if you do have any evidence of exam leaks, then of course uh, please go to your exams officer or school director and please make them aware of the evidence that you have. Again, rumours are not helpful at this point, but if you do have evidence, then please submit that to the proper channels. And there's also the issue of your own honour as well and ethics. And if we act individually in an honourable way, then we expect others to act in that same honourable way. And that's how we have a good community of educators and students all working together to the same goal, which is good understanding of the material and making sure we can get on to the next stage of our educational journey. So this is the most important section, which is the focus on you, the students. So what you can do. And I will go through these points very carefully. First of all, I know this is really difficult to do, but try to limit your exposure to all the social media discussions on Reddit and elsewhere and WhatsApp, and just make sure that you're focused on your own revision. Get your frustrations out by studying even harder, by really understanding those concepts for the next exam. Also remind yourself, why are we doing these exams? And the reason that we're doing these exams is to get a good understanding of mathematics and making sure we can go on to our next career stage, whatever that is. And as long as we keep reminding ourselves of these goals, then we can then focus more on ourselves, what we can do, and that is a more healthy outlook all around. And it's also important to maintain perspective. This is just one challenge on your life journey uh, in education or elsewhere. And it's all about overcoming these challenges and making sure that we can then focus on the next challenge ahead of us and not get too bogged down in one specific situation. So it's all about a collaborative effort together, making sure that we work together to make the process as transparent and honest as possible. If you have any ideas uh, in addition to what I've discussed today, then please do mention those down in the comments below. That would be really, really useful. And if you're looking for IGCSE Maths Paper 4 tips, to that, that in between room between the paper two and the paper four exam this video really is the one for you because i go through the three key tips you can use paper two to help you with paper four